Another day, another locals. Let's go. Time to bring Pendulum to the promised land, boys. We won yesterday. We gotta win today now. Oh my god. Yo, are you entering today? No, what if I had money? I only I have like barely enough. Yo, can you sign him up for me with my store credit? Thank you. You're in. Bro, we all believe. Yo, what's your name, bro? Oliver. Yo, everyone, tell Oliver. Give him all your confidence and luck. Let's go, Oliver! Arch Nemesis turned new friend Arnie is eating some delicious food. I can smell it. And now that our friends, can I have a bite? I tried, guys. I tried. That's how we played. Uh, what did it go so long? Redemption. Oh my god. <laughs> redemption. I was thinking of the word. I'm like, redemption is the word I took my tongue. I will not stop lifting until I look like this guy right here. Round one. My opponent is Derek. Derek! You guys want to hear a little story about me and Derek? The last tournament we went to, of course, I was undefeated. He was also undefeated. You know what he said to me word for word? He said, Steven, because your beard is ugly, I get the win. And then he threatened me. What is this? It's fucking beautiful, to be honest. So we both know that's Cap. Nice! Yeah! Let's go! <laughs> Best deck, yeah. <laughs> Fucking great hand. GG. Well, uh, that was the fastest scoop in trip gaming history. Anyways, we're on to game number two now. And I gotta go fast, baby. I gotta win this one fast. So I go Lubellion into Magnamut. I am facing uh, the Exo Sister deck. So I'm gonna clap them up. I'm gonna end up with an unbreakable board, obviously. So here I'm gonna go Luster Popping Ignis. That's Lubellion. That's on the field that has a slight glare. And Luster Ignis is just auto win. Uh, I'm going to bring out my good homie Beyond the Pendulum. Beyond the Pendulum will then search me uh, my trusty scale that I'm missing and that is Maiden. Maiden will eventually allow me to search after my pen summit. I'm going to do some cool plays over here. I'm going to actually set up a lock. I want you guys to pay very close attention here, okay? So you don't have to end on a thousand negates. This play right here is going to... You guys see Dark Ruler was flashed from my opponent. I didn't see it, but you guys could see from the camera. So he has Dark Ruler right now. I don't know he has Dark Ruler, but I'm expecting a bunch of blowout cards. I go Pisty Triple Burst to bring back the Ignister from my grave. I go Seal, and I'm going to summon some stuff out here. And this is where I'm going to show you guys something absolutely epic, okay? So I am going to keep my Dynasty on the field. I'm going to scale a Morphage Leckery, and right away with my Seal, right away, I'm going to use Seal's effect right away in the standby to summon a Sloth. I don't go fuck if he's going to summon anything. It's just because Leckery and Sloth in the field means that he cannot use spells. So because I have a Morphage Sloth in the field, and I do this in standby phase, so he can't do use Dark Ruler, can't use any actual spell card. And it's auto-win, and he told me later he had Dark Ruler. I'm like, bro, what can I say? Pen best deck. Because when you end up Sloth in the field, they can't special from extra deck. And then uh, Morphage Leckery, they can't use spells. Then you're going to think in your mind, oh, but Shrift, they'll just enter battle and kill the Sloth. That's where Dynaster comes in, or Hope Harbinger. Dynaster says that Pendulums cannot be destroyed by battle. So if he attempts to destroy my di my sloth by battle, he cannot kill the dynaster. And then the only out is if you druid worm get rid of the dynaster, and then enter battle kill the sloth. But we have Majesty Maiden in hand to protect the dynaster via its hand effect, its miscellaneous force effect. So GG. I asked the Martha, and that's just game on its own. Uh, he, I don't really know this deck very well, so I actually impermed this card. I shouldn't have done that. I definitely should have impermed uh, his rank four. I don't know anything about his deck. <laughs> I, like. Like, I don't even know why the fuck I did that, to be honest, but it's fine. I, I don't know this deck at all, uh, but it's okay. Uh, I guess it's not the worst thing in the world. So he's going to search his card that uh, special summons from his deck. Doesn't matter, because I'm playing a pen best deck. So I actually top deck Ash for turn, so nice trap card. I go Lubellion off the bat, and I'm trying to bait. I know that if I, if, if I use my Magnum as soon as possible, it'll bait his card. I want to... I, want, I know my Ash is going to stop his trap card, so now I just have to stop his last trap. By the way, it's Solemn Judgment. I didn't know this at the time, but I'm going to show you guys now how to clear Solemns. It's very easy, actually, because this, what Draco Slayers do so well, better than any other Pendulum deck, is there's a bunch of Turbo Extenders in the deck inherently, so you just summon a bunch of times before you Pen Summon. So I go Magnemite here, he's going to use his trap to, to get his own Exodus to effect off, but I Ash the shit out of it. And now because Lubellion's in the grave, I trigger Magnum End Phase. Lubellion, bring up Branded Beast, which I keep going second against Trap decks. The pop is Solemn Judgment. So I just use Branded Beast to pop is Solemn Judgment. I'm not going to Sky Iris pop my Branded Beast because I'm a genius. And I'm going to end up in a really cool play here. So despite the fact that we got clobbered that game one with our brick, uh, this is we're just going to slap him here. We're going to do a cool play. He's a really good player. Really good player. He usually wins locals when I see him. 
uh, but I have to show that pen best deck here. So we're going to use Iris. We're going to get uh, Chaos Emperor, Chaos Emperor, Special Summon. I'm going to enter the battle phase first, just in case he has some random hand trap. I want that off the field. I'm going to go into Beyond the Pendulum. This will get me a low scale. I'm going to end up Pendulum Summoning. And I could do some uh, cool plays. We're ending on Seal, Hope, Harbinger, Druid. So it's like two and a half interruptions. But if he doesn't have a spell, it doesn't do jack shit. But the one card that destroys his deck by easily is Baguska. So instead of doing a whole random board like Seal, Hope, Harbinger, I sided out Sloth because I'm going second. This fucking Baguska. They clip kills this deck. This format, Baguska kills. If Dweller doesn't kill a deck, Baguska kills it. So the rank four turbo decks are insane in this format. It's all you need. If Dweller doesn't auto kill the deck, Baguska will. Anything extra is just irrelevant. Especially in this game state where he doesn't have board breakers. He, he's going first. In simplified game states, these cards are absurd. And now that he just passes on that, this is going to be an easy victory. So, pen best deck. We got out of that triple prosperity nonsense game one. And we're going to win game two and game three. So, we're 1-0 to start the tournament. Fantastic. Bring on the next victim, baby. Pen best. Finish the sentence for me. That's right. But make sure to finish it with let's go. Let's go! So after I clap up my first two opponents, I'm gonna go find some food. We're gonna go on an adventure to find some good food. Where are the Telemann players? My dimension shifter needs victims. There's one behind me. <laughs> he waited twice, he woke my ass twice. What? Then he woke up, I 4 0 his ass. <laughs> All right guys, our strategy today is very simple. We're just gonna flex. Guys, only one for, because of one reason, because of my beautiful play mat you can now purchase on TriffGaming.com. You already know what it is. Draco Slayers, baby, get your mats now. I'm the best player in the game. All right guys, five minutes left in the round. I'm gonna get my eyebrows done and then I'm gonna beat my opponent the next round. Yo, did the round start? Oh fuck, 32 minutes. Yo, who, who do I face? I, I tried calling you, Ken, you're off. Yo, you can have the win, I'm gonna get a manicure. Later. Anna's waiting for me. I'll see you guys round three. Oh yo, my cards are there. Can you defend them? Thanks. Fuck Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm gonna get a manicure now. For Yu-Gi-Oh, they're very sore from winning. Yo, I feel on cloud nine, baby. My hands are nicely massaged. I could duel better now because I win a lot. So when I play my cards down, I play with force. You're lucky you dodged a bullet today, baby. I did dodge the bullet. Fuck yeah. But now that means you have to win the tournament. Was it worth the... Oh, fuck yeah, yeah bro. <laughs> play down my Draco Slayers, like, it'll be with more force. You won't open three prosperity anymore. Exactly, I won't open three prosperity anymore. Now it'll be one prosperity and one of you Draco Slayer and three hand traps. You already know what it is, baby. All right, guys, so it's five minutes left in the round. I have time to get food and come back. We missed the last one. We're not missing this third round. No way. We're going to find a way to get there in time. Do we have five minutes? The last time we five minutes. Bro, my hand up feeling insane, bro. Yo, I like superpowers. I'm not cold. Outside is cold, but I'm not wearing a jacket. Gino's pizza, Chinese food something. Uh, Shawarma Kingdom. Shawarma it is. Ho, ho, ho. Guys, I mean, impeccable decision as always. This place, impeccable vibes. If you guys are in the Mississauga area, it's called Shawarma Kingdom. This place is amazing. I'm looking forward to having the food. It's going to be delicious. <laughs> That's going to be amazing. That was literally the greatest customer service I've ever had in my life. It's called Shawarma Kingdom. Shawarma Kingdom. Thank God I went in there. Greatest customer service. I actually am, yeah. Hey. Hi. Hey, I'm about to win a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament. Good luck, bro. Thank you. Life is great, boys. But I'm super late for that tournament again. <laughs> Fucking late for round three again. Fuck, fuck. Yeah. We got here just in time. 38 minutes and two seconds, so we don't get a game loss. Let's go. Got there on time. I'm out of breath just looking at that. I'm doing this voiceover the day after, and I'm literally still out of breath. Yeah, I have zero cardio. Anyways, Dimension Shifter, nice deck. <laughs> so I go Dimension Shifter, Seal. Uh, my Magnum, I will add myself a Lubellion, and that's all you gotta do. I, I go first here, I D-Shifter. He's playing Sword Soul, which D-Shifter is alright, but not the greatest. Uh, but it's definitely good. Stuff's tie and stuff like that. Moye draws, etc. Uh, yeah, so all you gotta do when you open D-Shifter, D-Shifter hurts Pendulum too, let's be real. But it destroys every other deck, so you just D-Shifter and end up Baguska, or you go D-Shifter and then Seal. And Seal still resolves through D-Shifter, so you're still able to get an amazing follow-up because of Seal. So your Magnemite will trigger multiple times, setting up your next turn to be just insanely good. So he ends up Blackout and Shisha, and this is not even going to be remotely enough. I assume he's going to have some form of hand trap. I have five cards in hand, so this is going to be the easiest destruction of all time. 
I'm gonna. Uh, I'm thinking of a way to Druid Worm Lubellion, because if I Druid Worm Lubellion right off the bat, uh, it'll just stop his uh, She Shao right away. So I Druid Worm, I Lubellion. He can't even She Shao because there's no worm in grave, and it instantly gets rid of the worm. I use Lubellion effect, he Veilers it. So I know everything else in his hand. This is not going to be easy pickings. I'm going to go Chaos Emperor here to uh, get my uh, card from Banished, and I'm just, <laughs> this is easy now. I'm just, at this point, I'm just going through the motion, playing through all of random hand traps, and there's really nothing he can do uh, to be victorious here. I have so many extra cards that I could play at any moment. I'm just trying to see what cards he has. He's a Magnemont. Uh, he might have another Bestial. So I'm just playing accordingly to OTK here easily, but through any hand trap whatsoever. So it's important. I'm saving some turbo cards in this scenario. I search Skyris, and this is going to be game here. So. This is the power of D-Shifter. It's D-Shifter, like you don't have to put up a big board of D-Shifter. D-Shifter on its own past turns. So if you could just send on a, a Seal or Baguska and get an amazing follow-up under D-Shifter, that's all you need, bro. Just D-Shifter and like one interruption. That's literally all you need. D-Shifter is all the interruption needed, period. That's all you need. So anything else is just a bonus, but make sure you follow up nicely. The beauty of Seal is that the be it gives you the best follow-up because it'll give you a Magnemite, which will get you Revolution Dragon, which will get, get you Chaos Emperor, which will get you another Bestial, which will get you all, all sorts of shit. Because Chaos Emperor under g shifter is absurd. So, like, it's it's all you need. It's all you need. Don't overthink it. Just D-Shifter their ass. So, my opponent... Uh, look, this is... I'm going to ruin this for you guys, but this will be a great learning experience. My opponent has a few interruptions, but guess what? He has anti-spell, so... My hand's absurd. I Veiler him, there's not much he can do, but I'm gonna get absolutely smothered to a fucking anti-spell. I guess people still play this card, it's unfortunate. What could you do, bro? Game two, you know, uh, we're not winning through anti-spell. Uh, the only way to play around anti-spell is to Joker into Purple Poison, but I opt to not play Purple Poison, because uh, no one in this format is playing anti-spell. So, uh, if someone does play anti-spell, it absolutely obliterates us, keep this in mind. But you can't really play around everything, so don't, like, play extra stuff just for anti-spell. Uh, so we're going to go on to game three now. So game three, I know what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to set up uh, my full lock of Sloth and Leckery. I do make two misplays in game three. So I want you guys to pay close attention because this is going to be an absolutely amazing learning experience for all you guys. So here I go, Lubelia, and into Soren here. I set up the two scales. I'm going to use Maiden here to add... Yeah, I always love seeing Maiden. Maiden is the best Draco Slayer by a landslide. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna use Dynamite to special the Maiden, adding myself Sky Iris, sending Soren here to the graveyard. Soren here sending another Lubellion. I'm now gonna special Magnemut, triggering my Magnemut effect. I can make Bear. Uh, I was thinking about making Baron, but it wasn't special off Ignis, so that can't be done. Uh, here I make a slight mistake actually. So uh, I'm playing like. I played way too into him having a hand trap on Beyond the Pendulum, so that's my error. Like, I used Chaos Emperor, I used Ariadne. These are the only low skills I have in my hand. So I used Chaos Emperor and Gilding Ariadne way too early. Way too early. Because those are my low scales. So I should have a Pendulum summoned first before getting rid of them. Because I relied on Beyond the Pendulum to search my low skill and gets hit with Gamma. So that's a massive mistake. Like, I could have Sky Iris the Ariadne later. I did not do it right away. And by doing that, it makes it so I can't Pendulum summon this turn. I still end on Brinded Beast. Solemn Judgment, Seal, Sloth, so it's fine. Like, I still have negates and stuff, but that's still a mistake. So I have Seal, and now this is where I make an, uh, another my next errors. So I don't Pendulum Summon, but it's still game. Like, Seal into Sloth, Branded Beast, Solemn Judgment, that's just game. But how I use my negates is absolutely awful. So Solemn Judgment, it's always good to Solemn Judgment, a Baron, or like whatever he makes with Long Guan or Moye, because his deck really only has two plays, right? So the second he summons that, I Solemn Judgment it. And next, like I could have, this is where I screw up. So he goes Moye, uh, special. I pop the token, and now this is where I screw up. I, I seal, okay? Uh, instead of sealing into, because he, he had just battle, I think. Oh, wait, no, what happened there? Did I do it right? Oh, no, I use, yeah, I use seal to bounce it. And instead of summoning a sloth, I summon out Magnemite. But I could have branded beast anything he summons. So just like that, he backs his away my trap card and just summons Ashuna. I'm, I'm, I'm at like 3,000 light points because of Beyond the Pendulum. I didn't give him enough credit uh, of Ash, uh, Ashuna, which I knew. Like, I fucked up so hard, actually. Like, look at that. That, that was pathetic. L like, I didn't expect him to be able to kill me, so I opted for the follow-up instead of more interruptions. And by doing that and summoning Druid Worm early, it cost me the game. 
It's actually really disappointing that I played that ass so badly. We ended up losing. That was very winnable. There's no reason I should have Druid Worm right away. I was thinking he could have another Bisted. I want to make sure my, my Brandon Beast resolved. I could have also Brandon Beast bought the Moye. Obviously, he could make Baxi. I haven't played Swords in a while. That was very winnable. That was my L. I'll take it on me. But I get to eat the most amazing food now from my Shawarma friends. Oh my goodness. Look at this. I'm very excited to eat this. So let's dig in, guys. So good. All right, guys, I'm officially quitting Yu-Gi-Oh. This is officially a trip food channel moving forward. We ended up losing the tournaments, but it's all good because I had a great time. My hands are massaged and I just had the best food ever. So next, we are going to Game Nation tomorrow and we're going to take on the tier limit idiots in the world with pendulums. Let's go. Screw Yu-Gi-Oh. Trip food, baby. That's so-and-so matchup I could have won. That was my fault. You should always have too many stuff in my hands. Such as Pendulum's future. It's important to uh, recognize your mistake if you lost. Don't blame something random like luck. Oh my god, my hands suck. No, recognize if you made a mistake, if you made a misplay, it's your fault. And by having that accountability for your own deck, you will by default become a better player because you'll recognize to not make those mistakes anymore. Before I leave, I just want to go say bye to the manager of Stroma Kingdom because that guy was so fucking nice to me. And I want to tell him that food is absolutely amazing. And also, I got to take a piss. Uh, what's cooler than a Stroma guy calling you boss? Uh, I don't think anything is cooler than that. If you guys got this far, make sure to go check out TripGiving.com for the best play match in the game. Also, make sure to smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. It's absolutely amazing to go to locals for you guys. I want to do this every single day. This is day number two, and I'm trying to do this every day until YCS Vegas. So expect like 30 of these in a row. Back to back to back to back 30 days. I right, love you guys. Time to go home.